In this video, we'll show you how the Form 4 Generation LFB print process works and the behavior you will see from your printer as it begins to build your print. Form 4 and Form 4L are masked SLA printers, or MSLA, powered by our Low Force Display, or LFD, print engine. LFD features six custom hardware subsystems and sets a new standard for speed, reliability, print quality, and materials performance. The print process is the combined work of many subsystems in the printer. The first is the backlight unit, which features an array of LEDs and mechanisms to create consistent, collimated light. This light passes through the next subsystem, the LPU4 or LPU4L, which consists of an LCD and various accessory components for reliability and consistency, including a release texture for assisting in the peel process. This release texture works along with the newly designed resin tank with a taut yet flexible film to minimize unnecessary force on your parts. Lastly, the Form 4 generation printers utilize an automatic resin dispensing system and multiple intelligent control systems. To get us started, let's look at how those systems combined create your print layer by layer in a three-part process. The squish, the exposure, and the peel. Let's start with the squish. In the initial step of the print process, the build platform descends into the resin tank. The space between the flat tank film and the surface of the build platform, or previously printed layers, defines the height of each layer. During this step, the rigid surface of the LPU creates a reliable flat surface that supports the film of the resin tank. The next step in the printing process is when the liquid resin is exposed to the 405 nanometer light of the LEDs. The light from the LEDs travels through a lens array which adjusts the light for consistent exposure across the build area. This collimated light passes through the LPU and the tank film to cure a new layer of resin to the previously cured layer or build platform. Let's take a moment to look at the LPU more closely so that we can understand how the printer is defining the shape of each layer. The LPU defines the shape of the area to be cured in the tank for each layer. The backlight unit exposes the entire build area to light at once, but the LPU only allows light to pass through for areas that need curing. This is achieved through the LCD screen built into the LPU4 or LPU4L. Each pixel of the LCD screen is toggled on or off, cleanly replicating the instructions given to the printer from preform during the slicing process, either allowing light to pass through or to block it. This cuts down on print time as there is no moving parts necessary for the exposure step, and the entire layer cures at once. Finally, let's talk about the last step in the printing process, the peel. The printer separates the build platform and the printed part from the tank film in order to repeat all steps again for the next layer. As the build platform lifts, the flexible tank film pulls away from the LPU. The release texture creates just enough room for air to travel between the surface of the LPU and the underside of the tank to break the vacuum between them. At this time, the flexible film peels away from the newly cured layer of resin as it is firmly adhered to the build platform. Once the printer detects that the layer has fully separated from the tank, it moves on to the next step, either mixing the resin or starting another layer. The mixer is attached directly to the printer and rests inside the tank, guided by a motor for precise movement. The mixer has many different purposes. It maintains a homogeneous resin mixture, spreads resin across the resin tank, removes debris from the printing area, and flags obstructions on the build platform and tank film. The amount the mixer moves will vary depending on the resin used and other print process variables. You could see no mix between layers, a single swipe, or a double swipe, 